What's up class? Our lesson for today is about control structures. So what are control structures? By default, each line of code of our program is executed sequentially. Control structures allows us to skip some lines based on certain conditions. The first control structure that we will talk about is the basic if statement. On the left is the flowchart and on the right is the syntax of an if statement. We see here that we start with the keyword if, then followed by the test expression enclosed in parentheses. If the test expression is true, the program will proceed on executing the code block enclosed in curly braces then goes on to the line of code immediately after the if statement. If the test expression is false, the program will just skip the entire code block and close in curly braces and goes directly to the line of code immediately after the if statement, then proceed to the rest of the program. Now, let's try to use an if statement to create a program that is capable of informing the user if an integer input is divisible by 2. Pause the video for a while, do this in Dev C++, compile, then run your project to determine if you have the same output. Did you get it right? If yes, then on your own, create a program that is capable of informing the user if an integer input is divisible by 3. This is challenge question number 1. The next one is an if-else statement. It also starts with the if keyword, followed by a test expression in close in parentheses. When the test condition is true, it executes the code block in close in curly braces, then proceeds to the line after the entire if statement. If the test expression is false, instead of exiting the if statement, the program executes the code block inside the curly braces after the else keyword. It then also proceeds to the line after the entire if statement, then proceeds to the rest of the program. Now, let's improve our previous program by also displaying a message that the input is not divisible by 2. Pause the video for a while, do this in Dev C++, compile, then run your project to determine if you have the same output. Did you get it right? If yes, then improve your previous program and also display a message if the integer is not divisible by 3. This will be your challenge question number two. The last is the nested if statement. Here, instead of just a single condition, you can add succeeding test conditions if the current test condition is false. It also begins with an if keyword followed by a test expression. If the test expression is true, the succeeding code block in curly braces is executed then the program proceeds to the line of code after the entire nested if statement. If test expression is false, the program will test another condition, test expression 2, indicated by the else if keywords. If the test expression 2 is true, the program will then go on executing the succeeding code block enclosed in curly braces. Then, the program proceeds the line of code after the entire nested if statement. You can end the nested if here, which will make the last else if block proceed to the line of code after the entire nested if statement if the test expression is false. But optionally, you can put an else block indicated by the else keyword, which will execute if all test expressions are false. After the entire nested if, the program then proceeds to the rest of the codes. Remember that we can add as many else if block as needed. Now, let's add another capability to our previous program. 
Now, it displays a message if an integer is divisible by 3 and also displays a message if the integer is neither divisible by 2 nor 3. Pause the video for a while, do this in Dev C++, compile then run your project to determine if you have the same output. Did you get it right? If yes, then create a program that can display if an integer is divisible by the primes 2, 3, 5, and 7. This will be your challenge question number 3. That's it. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to leave your comments, questions, or suggestions down below. Hit the like button. Share this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you won't miss any uploads. Have a nice day and see you soon!